Welcome back again, friends. Okay, so I lied. I put another clamp on it. Um, and I left it longer than 48 hours. I left it for 72 hours with heat on it and three clamps. Well, 24 hours with heat and the two clamps you saw in the last video. And then after 24 hours, I put one more clamp on and left it uh, another day. So, you know, I just... I want to make sure that stays flat, and it is. It's good and flat, and it's solid now, too. Uh, we got to get, of course, we've got to glue it yet, but I wanted to get that belly out as much as I could, because like I had said in the other video, the top lifted and pulled away from the braces. I don't think the braces moved all that much. We took some serious water. Uh, I wanted to keep humidification inside of there because we were applying heat up here. So, you know, I wanted to kind of keep things and not dry it out. Um, I initially was going to start right here where the worst damage is. Start repairs here. But I think it would be best. There's still another block of wood in there. I think it would be best to repair that back first before we start moving anything around here. Because that's going to be a, an important factor in this thing holding together. The back's pulled loose all the way across here. And as I said before, I'm going to take a tiny pipe head, I think, is how I'm going to do it. Get inside of here and shove that glue back into this area until it runs out here. And then I'm going to clamp it, the guitar, on the outside and shove this back in and wipe the squeeze out away and leave that for 24 hours before I do very much here to these cracks or to this well there's some serious damage right here man there's some bad damage all this has got to be repaired before we put the bridge back on I did get the bridge cleaned up by the way all the glue came off of it I scuffed it up pretty good so the glue will stick better so you know I'm Certain we can use this very same bridge that came off of it. Maybe. I don't know why it looks like it's pulled backwards, but. I don't know. Who knows? The whole guitar probably shrunk. Actually, it looks like the bridge shrunk and the guitar got bigger. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that. I've never seen anything like that before. So, let me. Uh, get everything I need here. I'm going to need uh, some damp cloths to wipe squeeze out. I'm going to need uh, some glue in one of these pipettes so I can get up into that crack and really get the glue in where it needs to go. We're going to need more beer. Uh, several things that we're going to need here required to get this thing started. So hold on. So I've got a little pipette full of glue. Well, it's not full, but it's got in it. I crimped the end of this thing down flat so I can get right up inside of there, right where the glue needs to go. And 
I need more wood. So you see what I'm doing here. I'm not going to punish you through the whole thing. I just wanted to show you what's going on. And here's another problem we're up against. Look at this. If you look inside the guitar, I have a light in there. You can see that the top pulled away from the, the bridge plate, which is good. I mean, it ripped the shit out of the top, but by pulling away from that bridge plate like that it saved the bridge plate so now we got to fill all of this with glue until it comes out inside right there and then we got to clamp that right where you see the knife that that crack right there clamp that and leave that for at least 24 hours before I do any other work and then I gotta glue this piece back in I think I have these pieces I tried to save as many of them as I could they came off the bridge this uh, crack right here has got to be all filled with glue and uh, fixed I need to look inside there and see what damage this is because it looks like it's pretty bad can actually lift it up you can see that I'm just I got my hand inside of it shoving it up so I can do that to get plenty of glue in there clamping it's going to be another <laughs> something else so uh, I think I'll maybe go ahead and do that too right now so hold on I'll get the camera in a minute and show you a better picture so I got the clamp here in the very center of that back and the worst uh, part of it pulled up was up on this upper side probably because you know on the base string side the heavier thicker string side so put another clamp on that side feels pretty flush and I had a lot of squeeze out right here so I'm going to show you all that I can get a, a light inside of there yeah I don't know if you can see it or not. And then I uh, put and used our little faithful pipette here. If you can see that, there we go. Still got some glue in it. And there's places like this crack and all this uh, that had pulled loose back here that I could stick the knife through. I used that little pipette and got up in there and filled all that up with glue. I put a block on top here and blocks on the bottom on the inside. I wrapped those blocks, by the way, in uh, wax paper. So you don't want the glue to stick to the blocks or glue the blocks in there, rather. Tighten them up. I got plenty of squeeze out out of this crack and plenty out of this one. I see some more coming out inside right over a brace. I right, have a brace. I got the X brace. Uh, let me get the camera and I'll try to get you a shot in there and show you what's going on. Hold on. Okay, so you can see I glued the back, put the bra the clamp right, one clamp in the center and one on the side that was um, pulled apart farther. That other side wasn't near as far. I stuck toothpicks in there to hold that back apart so I could get glue in there good. Uh, here's what I'm talking about with the, there's a block there. Had a lot of squeeze out come out of this crack. I can still feel that crack though, but uh, there again the wax paper just to keep the glue from sticking to the blocks. There maybe you can see 
some of the squeeze out came out of there it looks pretty good I might have to uh, I gotta find those other little tiny pieces of wood that got away now if I can get you a shot inside god this is gonna be tough ah man hold on don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not folks but there's the clamps inside you can see I think you can see the the two blocks with wax paper wrapped around them going up against the uh, bridge plate and I see some more squeeze out there since I wiped it out and come around to the other side here oh god this is tough to do now you can see where we had squeeze out there all around the uh, where the back had popped loose well, there's maybe quite a bit yeah I think I'm gonna leave that yeah camera's not going to cooperate it's too there there you go now maybe you can see it had plenty of squeeze out though lots of squeeze outs which is good we know we have a good bond that way so uh, I'm gonna leave it 24 more hours again and come back and hopefully uh, take the clamps off and everything will stay together and we can continue our journey Wow this guitar was on its deathbed man we're going to revive it though I think it's going to be a good guitar here's the crack I was talking about before you can actually feel it now uh, I'll take eh, if I can find it here real quick try to force glue into that crack and then I'm going to take a little suction cup and suck it in and out of the crack watch it inside through a mirror make sure we get glue through and through and then I'm going to put a clamp around the body right around right around the fattest part of the body here and squeeze that crack together until we get squeezed out and then we're going to leave that 24 hours and come back and try to smooth this out a little bit and make it look a little bit better you're still going to see the crack I, you know I can make it the crack disappear but that would run the bill up way higher you know it's okay just to fix it and seal it so it doesn't isn't a problem anymore you're still going to be able to see it so anyways that's what I know today See you tomorrow, folks. Same time, same station. Cheers. Well, the wax paper did its job. It worked beautifully. The glue didn't stick to the wooden blocks. Obviously, there's a lot of work there that needs to be done yet, but it's coming along. Uh, this is all glued back down. If you remember, I could stick a knife in here. And it came out inside the guitar. I had good squeeze out inside of there. I'll show you a shot inside of it. And let me get my light right here. Man, it's so hard for me to see with all these bright lights. Anyways, there's the bridge plate. There was the damage. that was the damaged area anyways you can see what good shape the bridge plate is in and uh, I got all this like I say this is all coming together up here I got some little chips that came out here I have those or one of them anyway put one of those back in there's a big chip missing from right here but I want to show you something else this area from here to here okay from right there clear back to right here all the way around the back of the bridge see clear out to right here here you can see it that's where the bridge comes to and there was no glue on that 
at all. Like here you can see it. It was even on the front like that. Uh, it looks like they have cut a line across here. I don't know what the deal with that is. But you can see where the bridge actually came, where it, they stopped gluing it, rather. Right there, this much from this line that they cut into it back to here had no glue. So we're going to, when we put that back on, we're going to glue that all up really good. The whole entire surface of the bottom of the bridge is going to have glue on it. And it's going to be stuck on there much better than it was before. This crack I got sealed, or I got it glued. Um, a good way to test that, let me find my light. You probably can't see it, but... can't see it yeah you can yeah see that light moving in there okay what I'm doing is shining a flashlight through the top so uh, what I did was shine a, the light through this crack right here I don't know if you can see that now or not yeah there's where the crack was Right up through there. Now you can still see where it, where it was, but it's filled with glue now. Of course, the light will shine through it anywhere. Yeah, I just lost everything. There it is. But a good way to check those cracks is take a, a really good flashlight. And I have a J5 tactical light here. I should do a review on this because, man, this thing is awesome. Actually, I've got another one here that might be better than that. I should do reviews on these lights because everything I find that is really good and cool I like to pass on to you guys and these flashlights kick ass man yeah anyway that's another video <laughs> uh, the back held on good I checked it the same way you can check it with getting here with a flashlight shine you know all around the back of it and I can see light before now we have a good secure bond on this uh, on this back where it meets up to the inside uh, braces and the neck block that's all in good shape now what we're going to tackle today is this little crack right here actually it's a big ass crack and I'll show you hold on hold on show you what I'm talking about with the light check this out if let's see if I'm on it Okay, here's the flashlight shining through the crack. See how that light comes through there, man? That crack is wide open. There's where it ends. Actually, it goes a little farther than that, but it's not in two separated as bad as it is here. If you have a little crack in your guitar, just take a good flashlight and go along the crack. Look inside of it while you do it. And if it's a real, if, you know, if it's a real crack, not just in the finish, but a major one, then you're going to see that light through there, as you can see. So, yeah, we're going to tackle this crack right here. I am going to uh, just smear some glue across there. Take a su suction cup. Man, it's sticking already and work that glue down into there until I see squeeze out or run out we'll call it in this case and then I'm going to put a band completely around the guitar here around the back and come back up this side and we'll squeeze that crack together this way okay also I'm going to take a block of wood that is really smooth so it doesn't leave any indentations in the finish and good old wax paper so the block doesn't stick to the glue right there you, you wouldn't want that glued on the front of your guitar I don't think that would look very nice and I'm gonna because it's hooped up here I mean that's really sticking up I can feel that it's not glued to the uh, braces yet that's another video so anyway, I'm just showing you what we're going to do here today. So we're going to have a strap wrapped around it, pulling the crack 
this way after I get glue in there. And then I'm going to put a clamp on here and shove it down just enough to where it's flat. You know, it's not bulged up like that. It's sticking up pretty bad. Once we get all these cracks and everything up here, you know, the way we want it, then we're going to go inside and start gluing braces. Like I say, that's another video though, so hang on. Uh, let me get the camera up here in the tripod, and we will tackle this baby with great vengeance. <laughs> Woo! A bit of a rush there. <laughs> okay. So we have a damp cloth, we have a suction cup, we have a block of wood with a wax paper, and we have glue. That's commence. It's not really going to take very much glue for this, but I'm just going to pour it right along the crack there, like so. Take my little suction cup, start pumping, We're pumping the glue into that crack. Pump it in, suck it out. You know, you don't want to use a lot of time on this, I mean, obviously. And that's all we need right there. If we have squeeze out, or seepage rather, in this case, and we do have, but I want more than that. See what we have now. Ah, oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let me wipe off my suction goody here so it doesn't get clogged up. Now, all we've got to do is wipe all that glue off of there. And like I say, we'll get to gluing the joint, the joint, the braces later uh, first thing I want to do is put this ratchet jack on there hold on this is going to take a little bit I'll bring you back as soon as I have it all righty then so you can see I got these pieces of foam in there just there's a buckle right here to protect the wood the guitar from the buckles and, and obviously to protect it from this and go ahead and laugh, man. And yes, it's a ratchet strap. But hey, I saved 50 bucks. I didn't have to buy a strap uh, jack or wrench or whatever they're called. This will work. It works just as well. Um, I put this clamp on there just to shove the crack down a tiny bit where it was hooped up. There's really not a lot of pressure on it have the, uh, <coughs> the block of wood under here with wax paper wrapped around it. And uh, you can see that I can only do a few things at a time with this, uh, this instrument. You know, it's just there's so many things that it needs done to it. Uh, what can you say? You just got to go a little at a time. So I couldn't find a small drill. I found a Dremel tool, but I need to use this. I'm going to rough all this up and get rid of this finish back here that has never been glued. But this whole area right here is just a hell of a shape. It all needs uh, leveled out and, you know, roughed up and fixed so the bridge will stick to it. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. I'll just show you an idea of what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you the whole process, and this is not going to get finished tonight. But I'm going to do some of it while this is... Uh, because I really can't do anything else until that dries and stuff, you know. The braces still need glued inside. Uh, I don't want to do that until I have all this top secure. Then we'll start gluing the braces to it. So anyways, 
carry on. This is going to sound nice in the headphones, I'm sure. So enjoy. death with it. I'm going to come back uh, with the Dremel tool where I can get in there a lot closer with it and get the rest of that finish off of there so that bridge will stick. So hold on, I'll bring you back for that. She is a looking good. She's looking mighty fine. That's going to be a whole lot better job than that bridge was glued on there from the factory. So anyways, now I want to take the Dremel tool and just go around these edges. I can get in there and be more accurate with it. I'll show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Another very slow process, I have to go all around this tape, not on the front because it's, there's always, already something funky going on there from the factory, but around the sides that were not glued for like an eighth inch in or sixteenth and all the way across the back. I've got to get that finish off of there down to bare wood so that bridge, when we glue that bridge on, it's going to stick this time. Uh, I'll show it to you here in a few minutes uh, as soon as I wrap it up some more. I'll hold on. I went ahead and peeled the tape off, but I just I wanted to show you this. That's roughly where the bridge is going to set. Now the pins is, but look at the front of this. Now this was like that from the factory. Well, you saw it before. I don't know what in the world they were thinking. 
I extend it on out on the ends here. I extend it out on this side and completely across the entire back. All the way back to the end of the bridge. I took all the finish off. I'll show you in a minute. So the entire bottom of the whole bridge is going to get glued onto wood. Uh, you know, I don't like this this strip up here sticking out, but it was like that from the factory. That's the way it came to me. I don't know what they were doing, but or thinking. But obviously, still a lot of work to be done here. I gotta rough it all up and smooth it out and just make it uh, flatter. And then I'll take a, I don't know, a knife or something. Score the hell out of it and the bridge so that bridge will set down on there and get that. Hold on. that looks close to the eyeball. So the bridge will stick uh, down on bare wood, but you know, I just I don't like that bare wood in front of the bridge across here. I thought the bridge shrunk, but that's not the case. I, it was just uh, it was a flaw in the way it was put on there at the factory. And this entire area didn't even have glue on it anyway. They didn't have any glue on the bridge. You saw it. An eighth inch to a sixteenth inch in or sixteenth to an eighth I should say. I've got to smooth this out. So, uh, that's about all we can do for another 24 hours till this glue sets up. I may work on this underneath this bridge a little bit more. I'll probably take some sandpaper and, I don't know, make that not look so obvious. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, man. I really don't know. I might just leave it like that. But that's where we are today. Uh, I need to sweep some more. So, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.